on. There it goes. Hi, everybody. How are you? Hi. Are you guys enjoying the show so far? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is probably my favorite part of the whole show. It's the Q&A portion. So if you have a question, just raise your hand, and we'll call on you. Is that what's happening? I think we'll call on you. Yeah, so we'll call on you, and yeah, just ask whatever you want, you know? Let's get started. You over here in the little bow. Yes. Where am I from? Uh, well, I'm from the States, but I'm from um, Arizona. So, yeah, I'm just my own. <laughs> Well, Abby always told us we were replaceable, so we were like, ha, no we aren't. <laughs> That's literally it. <laughs> when somebody keeps telling you you're replaceable, you're kind of like, ah, oh, maybe I am. And then I was kind of like, one day, I was like, no, I'm not. Like, none of us are. We're all of our own people, so like, I'm not irreplaceable. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Let's do you and the awesome pink shirt right there. I'm here to help. Oh, there she is. Well, you can just assist. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, pink shirt, and then I'll help. Huh? I literally have been here. I literally got here at 5 a.m., so I haven't done much yet. <laughs> I literally got here this morning. I'm running on three cups of coffee. Like, that's how I'm surviving currently. Um, last time I was here, we kissed the, what's it called? The Blarney, Blarney, the Blarney Stone. Stone. That was fun. I thought that was, like, terrifying because I'm afraid of heights, so I enjoyed that. <laughs> What was your favorite dance that you've ever done? Favorite dance I've ever done? Um, one of them would have to be the teen hotline dance because I feel like I had a really good story to tell. But like a fun one would be like Orange is the New Black or something. Like there, Those were fun to do too. Like the ones that weren't, well we won with that one. But there was a lot of dances that we didn't always win with but they were like, we learned a lot from doing them because that's stuff that you do in the industry. Like not every single day am I able to do contemporary, you know, because that isn't what the industry is. Like when you watch the VMAs or whatever, like they're not doing lyrical, they're doing like hard stuff. Um, you know the fights with the moms like against each other? <laughs> um, are they like staged? <laughs> are they real? You can answer that. <laughs> They're not staged, and they are real. However, they're produced. Yeah, you oh, don't see me in New Orleans. the backing <laughs> of it all. <laughs> Some of them. It depends. It depends how mad our parents are, or if we need to get out. <laughs> who inspired you? Who inspired you to become a dancer? Um, well, I started, I always, that's like such a hard question, because I started dancing when I was two, so nobody really inspired me to dance, I just kind of got thrown into it, and then I think as I grew up, it was more just like, I found my love for it, it wasn't like anybody else was like, inspired me to like, be just like them, like I think I kind of just grew into loving it myself, like I love to dance. So, as I got older, I feel like whenever I was like 10 is whenever I started to realize that like, I really love to dance. So like, 2 to 10 was just fun. What was your favorite dance in Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition? Um, Twisted. It was the one with the fabric. Yeah, that one was nice. Sorry, I scared you. <laughs> Do you still talk to Maddie and Mackenzie Zucker? Yeah, for sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, why did Nia leave the Aeroplaceables? You can ask her. It was all her choice. We had nothing to do with it. We don't know. She chose not to come, so that's a her question, not a me question. <laughs> uh, what was it like when the select ensemble team came? Um, yeah, I mean, like they tried to make it a lot bigger deal than it was. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, whenever they came, it was like they gave us a not so good dance, gave them an amazing dance. Clearly, they were gonna win. You know, it was just like one of those things. Like, we're not, like, we're not. It's not like at a certain point, it just became like you kind of knew it was gonna happen. So you just kind of like just let it happen because you already knew it was gonna happen. What do you plan on doing after the irreplaceables? Well, I'm finishing up my senior year of high school, and then. Yay, woohoo, school's over. <laughs> and then I'll probably end up moving to LA and just keep pursuing dancing and acting and everything that I'm doing now. Sorry. <laughs> um, what was your favorite costume you've ever worn? 
The comfy ones. <laughs> Not the tight ones. <laughs> What's your favorite style of dance? Um, I'd say my best style to perform in dance is like lyrical contemporary, but I have lots of fun doing like hip hop and jazz funk because those are just like fun styles to do, like taking class in LA with everybody, I don't know if you guys have ever seen like Playground or stuff, like me and Chloe just went, and like it was so hard, but it was so fun because yeah, it was... Yeah, I saw the video. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun because it's challenging, like it's not like we're not used to being challenged, sorry, <laughs> but it's just like we did the same thing every week. How many hours a week do you train for dance? Um, it depends. Now I'm like so busy with just life in general where I just stop into class like whenever I'm able to. Like whenever we were in LA we took class. Whenever I'm home I try and take class. But whenever I was like living at home it was like probably like 30 hours a week. But don't do that as much anymore because I'm traveling all the time. Two more? Yeah. Um, what's your favorite thing to do over the summer? Um, nothing. Getting grounded. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch my last vlog, it was really funny. I got grounded. Oh, oops. Um, how are you able to do pirouettes so good? I'm not very good at them. <laughs> I'm not good at them. If you want me to hold my leg up in the air for like a year, I can. But turns out not my thing. I'm like, I get lucky if I can hit a triple. <laughs> okay, I think that's all we got. Is the next performance ready? I think so. I think so. I don't see her. Well, that's okay. We have a video. Oh, yeah, we got a video. Okay, well, give it up for Kendall, because she's coming up next. Yeah.